Have you ever wanted to know how to make fresh corn tortillas? Then you're in the right spot, because this week we're going to talk about how to make Overland tortillas. Hi everybody, my name's Rob, and welcome to Storm Crow Overland, where we talk about going on adventures, road trips, camping, and just generally getting out and enjoying life. And this week we're going to go and talk about how to make homemade corn tortillas when you're out camping or out doing something. Um, this is not going to be a very serious episode. Uh, like I said, we're going to call these Overland tortillas basically just because we're making them outside. This is how I would do it if I was out overlanding. Uh, they could also be camping tortillas or cookout tortillas or just I don't feel like being inside today tortillas. Um, so let's get started. A uh, quick apology to those of you who are uh, watching or who are listening to the podcast. This is going to be a little video heavy. Uh, it's going to be me doing stuff. Uh, so it might be a good chance to jump over and check us out on YouTube at Storm Crow Overland. Uh, but with that, let's get started. So this is not a real like serious recipe. This is a, kind of a ratio and just mixing stuff up and kind of getting started. Uh, first thing you're going to need is masa flour. Uh, it's basically just finely ground cornmeal. Uh, you should be able to find this specifically at any Mexican grocery store, any kind of like supermercado. Uh, I live kind of, you know, southern part of the country and you can pretty much find this at any grocery store. Uh, same thing you use to make tamales with. So we're going to take equal parts masa flour and water we may not use all the water we kind of add the water as we go so i'm going to start by using this is a gsi summit cup i can't remember exactly what it's called uh, it's a great little cup but if you pull the cup part out of its little insulated sleeve it's got measurements on it which is great and that's what i'm going to be using your actual measurements don't really matter it's uh, kind of based on how much you want so you're going for equal parts However much masa you use, that's how much water you're going to want to use. So I'm going for about a cup of masa flour, which is pretty close. All right, and we're just going to try to mix it up in this other little cup real quick. Like I said, I'm just trying to use the same things I would have if I was out doing this. Uh, by the way, I tried going out and filming this in the woods. Uh, it was really windy. Couldn't figure out how to get my setup right. Um, finally figured something out. Got started filming, got about a minute into it, <coughs> and realized that I forgot the actual tortilla press, which is kind of crucial to this whole thing. So uh, stick around to the very end of the video, and there might be a slightly adult language uh, blooper for you. So now that we got about a cup of masa flour, we're going to do about a cup of water. We may or may not use all of this. The water just kind of depends on how the masa flour is soaking it up. I usually don't end up using the whole thing. Uh, usually what I do the easiest way is start with about a half of whatever you have in here. Start mixing up. Usually if I was doing this inside in my kitchen, uh, I would probably be using like a wooden spoon or something. But since these are overland tortillas, we're going to use the titanium spork. So mix that up. And... Immediately, I can tell this is already too dry, but that's kind of to be expected. So just kind of incorporate it best you can. Then take about another, about half of what you have left. Add that in. Kind of mix it up. Okay. Uh, at this point, it's probably a good time to go ahead and uh, usually add a little bit of salt to it. Um, I don't have an actual measurement for you. If you like it salty, add a little more. If you don't like it very salty, you don't actually need any any of it. It's just for flavor. Uh, it doesn't actually affect the, how it's going to cook. So get some salt in there. Keep mixing. And you're going, you want the consistency of kind of like Play-Doh. You basically want it just wet enough that it will all stick together. And we're getting real close there. We might be there. Let's see. Once you get, start get it mixed up most of the way, you kind of have to take over by hand. You want to see if it'll want to get it, like I said, like Play-Doh. Kind of make a ball in your hand. Make a little bit of a mess, but hey, that's why we're doing this outside. It's okay. Add a little bit more water to what's left in the cup. Kind of mix it up. 
It's a little bit harder doing this in a something small. I don't have a big baking mixing bowl to use. Like I said, I'm trying to do this the same way I would if I was out somewhere. And then just kind of keep mixing it. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. It's just how it goes. All right. And this is getting pretty good. So the next step is always sucky because I'm usually ready to eat by the time I'm doing this. You need to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Um, just put it back in the mixing bowl, whatever you mixed it up in. Just let it kind of rest. It's, you're letting that moisture kind of soak into all that cornmeal. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take a little break and let that rest. All right, so we've let our dough sit for about 10 minutes. Uh, next thing is going to get the burner going. Uh, you want a hot skillet. Uh, like I said, I'm, on this, this little butane stove, I'm running it on full blast. I usually use a dry skillet. I don't put any oil. I don't put any butter. Uh, we're trying to cook these. We're not trying to, like, toast them or anything. So just usually dry skillet works great. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we ended up not using all the water. There's about, we did about a cup of masa, about a cup of water. And I've got just a little less than a quarter of a cup of water left. You just kind of have to keep mixing a little bit and eyeballing it until you get that right kind of Play-Doh consistency. Uh, so the next big trick is going to be getting some of the dough, running it through the tortilla press, and then actually cooking it. So for the dough, like I said, we've got our nice little kind of ball of Play-Doh. Uh, for a normal, like, taco-sized tortilla, usually pinch off a piece about the size of a golf ball. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect. Take it, kind of rework it into a ball. Like I said, get it about golf ball size. And then we're going to run it through the tortilla press. Uh, in the press, <laughs> this is such a silly thing, but it works great. Uh, this is a cut up plastic Ziploc bag for like a sandwich bag. Uh, I cut the top off, cut the sides off. It goes in the press and it just keeps the dough from sticking to the press itself. Makes it a lot easier to get it out after you've pressed it and when you're ready to put it into, the, the, your, into your skillet. So put it in, fold it over, press it down. You don't have to use a tortilla press. Uh, I have in the past. I have actually tried to roll these out with like a rolling pin or something. It works. Uh, it takes a lot longer, and it's a lot harder to uh, to get them a consistent thickness. So the presses are, are cheap. Go like I said. Go to Super Mercado. Go on Amazon. Uh, they're. I think I paid like ten bucks for this one. Just cast aluminum. But once you've got your tortilla, uh, basically just kind of slap it into the into the pan there. I do like to kind of throw it in there. Uh, for some reason, for me, it work, keeps it from getting wrinkled when I try to lay it. If I lay it in there, it gets all wrinkled up, then it doesn't quite cook right. Um, and then while it's cooking, which won't take very long at all, I'll go ahead and break off my next little golf ball. Kind of work it around. Oop, that one's breaking up. If it starts breaking in half on you or anything, just keep working a little bit more. It'll be fine. Lay it on the plastic. Press it. And by the time you've done that, it's probably time to flip this one. You'll start seeing it bubble up a little bit. Uh, all right. And we'll just, just kind of flip it over and let it keep going. Uh, what you're looking for here is, I mean, you've probably seen a tortilla. You want it to bubble up a little bit. You want to get some little brown spots on it where it's cooking. You don't want to cook it too much to where it's actually, like, stiff and hard. But you want to get it at least cooked all the way through. Let's see. Let's see how this one's doing. Not quite there yet. I'll make sure I've got the heat up all the way. Like I said, you do want high heat for this. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, not quite there yet. Uh, what I didn't mention earlier, like I said, the, it's just the ratio of one to one for the muscle fire and the water. With that, it, like I said, you can do two cups and one cup, or two cups and two cups, half a cup, half a cup. Generally, I get about a dozen kind of six inch like taco sized tortillas out of a one cup ratio. So one cup of masa, one cup of water. Um, obviously, if you do if you do more, if you do two cups and two cups, make sure you put more salt in if that's what you're if if you want it to be the same. Uh, this one's doing pretty good. He's almost there. Once you get going and your skillet's good and hot, I, this one's still probably heating up a little bit. These will usually take less than a minute. Just kind of, you know, just you can start pounding them out real fast. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, he's about done, so we're going to take him off. Um, a lot of times I just end up using my fingers and grabbing him off. 
I've got a uh, just a little kitchen towel here laid out on a cut, little small cutting board. Just gonna throw it in there to keep it warm. We'll throw the next one on real quick. Takes a little practice getting the plastic peeled off of these at first. So just lay it back down. Hope you can still hear me over that truck. Uh, so while it's sitting, we'll drop this new guy. Got a little, got a little dust in there. I think my stove might have blown out. There we go. Huh. Stove blew out, and then my, my little tortilla wrapper blew away. So we're going to go and take this one, throw it in there, give it a second. Start making that next one again. Up next, and none of this is complicated. It's super easy. Uh, flour tortillas are a little trickier. You actually do have to kind of roll those out. You can't really press them. Uh, the dough is just a different consistency. Um, in fact, growing up, I ate a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm originally from Texas. I ate tons of Mexican food and Tex-Mex food. And growing up, I didn't think I liked corn tortillas at all. Later, I found out I don't like regular corn tortillas that you just buy from the store. Uh, the texture on them is just weird. Uh, but if you take those, when you're actually going to eat them, you kind of throw them in a skillet for just a little bit, kind of crisp them up a little bit, and kind of warm them up. Oh, the texture changes, and they're so much better. Uh, I didn't like them at all, and now that's almost all me and my kid eat is corn. Uh, but when it comes to tortillas, we eat almost exclusively corn tortillas. And like I said, it's just so easy just to make yours at own, make your own at home. This is this would be even easier if I was in the you know, in my kitchen with my big cast iron skillet and everything else. All right, so that one's almost done. All right, so uh, hopefully this is making a lot of sense to y'all. I've never done a cooking video before. Um, if y'all really like this, if this is something, if let, somebody leave me a comment or send me a message if you actually end up trying to make these, just so I know, and just give me a little satisfaction. Uh, and if I get if I get much positive response at all, I will show y'all how to make the best salsa in the entire world. Uh, I love it. This one's almost done. Uh, I'm not going to have y'all sit here and watch me make a dozen tortillas. I think y'all get the process. You mix up a cup of masa and about a cup of water. You let it sit for 10 minutes, add some salt, you put it in the press, put it in the skillet till, it, till it's a tortilla, and that's pretty much it. Uh, as soon as this one's done, I'm going to show you the, the best way to eat these, though. Not quite there. While it's finished up, oh yeah, good, we're getting little brown spots on it where it's, where it's kind of cooking and toasting. But while we're waiting on all that, uh, if you are listening to this as a, the podcast, I apologize, it's probably a very video-heavy episode, like I said at the beginning. Uh, go ahead and look for us on YouTube. It's Storm Crow Overland. If you're watching this on YouTube, we also release the audio as a podcast. This wouldn't have been the best one for it, but usually it's a little better. And then you can find us on wherever good podcasts are found at Storm Crow Overland. You can find us on Instagram at Storm Crow Overland. And let me think. Is there anything? Oh, if you like what we're doing, like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to build a uh, community of like-minded individuals. Get out and just have fun. Uh, and let's see. This one is just about ready. Oh yeah, it's good. So this is the best way to do it. Get one that's fresh, right off the right off the uh, skillet. Just rub a little butter on it, and since it's hot, it'll go ahead and just melt the butter. And then I like to take a little. Uh, I prefer cotija cheese, but I couldn't find any when I went to the store, so I have some queso fresco. Just crumble a little bit of that up on there. Like I said, you've got that melted butter, you got this fresh cheese, this nice warm fresh tortilla. Kind of like that, just fold it over, take a bite. Mm. It's delicious. And there's no way to replicate to replicate the, the, the flavor and the texture of this when it's this fresh. Even an hour later, if I take some of these and warm them up and try to do the same thing, it's not the same. You got to have it when it's fresh. Well, everybody, uh, some, remember, sometimes it takes going out and really getting lost before you can find yourself. And thanks for watching.
not even like an actual recipe. This is just kind of mixing stuff together. Uh, Got to start. Son of a bitch. 